But there are other drivers who want his crown. Kristen Powell is the fastest woman on the planet. It's a complete rush every time I slam the throttle down. It's, it's another amazing adventure. I get to go down the track. I mean, it's never the same twice in a row. And when you're going 310 miles an hour, you definitely feel it. Drag racing is a multi-million dollar industry. Each car costs over $175,000. It's not the place you'd expect to find a 19-year-old girl. I think I was in the right place at the right time when I started racing. My father started sponsoring cars, and when I was about 15 and a half, I bought a 67 Camaro, which I wanted to race. And I went from the Camaro to a class called Supercomp, which goes about 160 in the quarter mile. Then that's a federal mogul dragster, which goes about 260, 270. And now I'm in top fuel, which goes over 300. Kristen is already the world's fastest woman driver. She drives for the Reebok team. It's pretty easy to control. The steering's very sensitive, and while you're going down the track, it remains pretty straight. And if it starts moving around, it's usually from the back, and if you feel like it's beyond your control, you just have to lift out of the throttle and abort the run. It can get dangerous. I mean, just yesterday, a woman named Shelly Anderson crashed. Fortunately, she's all right. She has a few minor burns. But uh, I have full fire equipment. I have a five-point safety harness, which we snug down very tight when I get in the car. So I feel very safe when I'm in these cars. It's a good thing she feels safe. Her car accelerates from a standing start to 200 miles per hour in just two seconds. When we leave the line, we feel about 5G's pushing against us, and that's an amazing feeling. Fortunately, it's not like the, the G's that push down on you, like when you're in a plane. It pushes you straight back in the seat. It kind of feels like there's a big blanket covering you, and it just, it's a natural feeling, and it pushes you back. Just like if you were leaving a stoplight, it's like 10 times that. I do this for so many reasons, I can't even count them. Obviously, I do it for the speed. I love going that fast. I think it's in the blood. Be able to brag to everyone that I go 300 miles an hour every weekend, that's just the coolest thing.